hi guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time stumbling on any of my videos you're super welcome my name is abby sodo and you're welcome to meals with abby as you can tell from the title and all of these clips you can see on your screen already i'll be teaching you how to make puff puff which is a nigerian snack enjoyed in nigerian homes and parties use the small chops and all of that in this video i'll be teaching you how to make puff puff in large quantity because it's one thing to make puff puff in you know in your home in small batches or small quantities and it's a whole different ball game when you're making for large quantities so i'm going to show you guys how i made this very nice looking puff puff if this is something you're interested in please keep on watching and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the purpose of this video i had to invite someone who does this as a profession she caters for events and parties and her puff puff is always so nice so now let's go through all of the ingredients the first ingredient is the yeast of course you need yeast for your puff puff because that's what's going to make you rise this is the yeast i'm using instant dry yeast you can use any brand and this is the brand i'm using i'll leave the measurements in the caption the next ingredient is this milk flavor now you can substitute this for milk but this one is just cheaper we got this for 100 naira and it's way cheaper than milk and more quantity and so yes this is the one we are using then we'll be using nutmeg fresh nutmeg is good also but for large quantities kind of usually really hard to use the fresh one so this is the one that we are using i'll leave all the measurements in the caption like i said earlier this is the powdered nutmeg you can use any brand that you can access next is vanilla extract yes this one gives a very nice flavor you might not know not everybody uses it but if you add this into your puff puff it is a game changer the rest of the ingredients you'll be using is our flour sugar cinnamon powder and chili powder that i forgot to show you guys that's chili pepper powder or chili pepper anyone you want to call it sha. so now you're getting all of our um equipment and items that we're going to be using to make the butter for large batch cooking you most likely do it outside your house you can choose to do it inside if you want but we're doing this in our backyard and so now she's trying to pour um the flour into the bowl the bowl is cleaned but because she has used it over and over and over again that's why it's looking like this so this is one um, paint bucket of flour. I'm going to leave the kg equivalent in the caption also. So we're going to be using two paint buckets in total. Next up, she's going to be adding in the sugar, and this is two cups of sugar. This is not the regular cup that you used for measurement. This one is different. I'll leave the equivalent in the caption, and we didn't want it to be too sweet, so you can go add more if you want. Next, she went in with the milk flavor, and then she's adding in the nutmeg. she's just going to go ahead to mix everything together you want to ensure that it's thoroughly mixed when you're making large quantity you know you have to ensure it's thoroughly mixed you don't want one part to have the certain flavor and the other part not to have that flavor or that taste and everything so and the flour is a lot so you have to take your time to combine it i don't know if it's advisable to use maybe a turning stick to mix it at this point because it's flour so the best thing is your hands your hand is the best instrument or equipment to mix it now she added in some salt and then she's adding cinnamon powder next she's going to be adding in um the yeast and for the yeast we're going to be using three and a half teaspoons that's the regular teaspoon measurement that we use when we are baking So 
so now she's going to mix and combine everything together again now the reason she didn't add um the yeast when she was adding the first ingredients was because she asked someone to go and get the measuring spoon so that's why she didn't add it the measuring spoon salt and cinnamon were not close by so it's not like you have to add those ones in batches you can mix everything together at the same time now she's done mixing all the dry ingredients, it's time for us to add in the water. If you usually make puff puff in the house, you know that when you're making the one in the house, we mostly use lukewarm water. But for um, the large quantity, you don't have to bother about heating up your water or anything. This is water straight from the tap. Because this is Nigeria, the weather is not the coldest weather. There's, you know, heat and so the water from the tap is not like it's cold cold. If you're not in Nigeria, if you're staying in a place that's um the weather is really cold you might need to heat up your water a bit but if you're in nigeria regular water from your tap it works just fine now you're going to be adding that in batches and combining gradually if you add everything together you might not get to mix your um puff puff very well or the batter very well so you're going to be adding the water in batches so she has someone helping her pour the water in batches into the puff puff if you don't have anybody you just be doing it yourself add a bit mix a bit add a bit mix a bit I'll leave the amount of water we ended up using to mix the batter in the description box so check it out but also when you're making large quantity you might not end up using measurements because most times you're going to eyeball and all of that so that's also why you're adding them in batches you're going to keep adding in batches till you achieve the um, desired consistency that is perfect for your puff puffs <music> After mixing the water and the flour, you now have a wet batter, so you can go ahead to add in the vanilla extract. You are using the whole of the bottle, it's not too much, it is just right. So she's going to continue to combine and to mix. Don't forget to scrape the sides of the bucket so you don't have any um, dried flour from the bottom and also scrape from the bottom to the top. Just look at the technique she's using to mix all of the butter together this also makes it kind of easier but guys this mixing took time it's not something you want to rush because you want to ensure that every part is mixed don't forget that it has yeast in it so you need to ensure that the yeast is well combined and also she said you check for the stretchiness so at this point you can see that the butter is beginning to be stretchy that's what she's checking with her hand and that's how she's going to know that okay I've mixed it very well. The yeast is beginning to um, activate. She's done with the mixing of the batter. She said this is just fine. Now she's going to cover it with a tray and then place it in one corner. So I asked her why she didn't, you know, cover it or put it in a dark place like we usually do in the house. And she said, one, we have more time for the puff puff to rise. And also because this is outdoor, so the heat gets in directly from the sun because this is Nigeria and then the sun was out. Most times when you're indoors, you don't have that much direct, you know, heat. So we need somewhere dark and somewhere um, warm to prefer for puff puff. But for this one, we do not need that because we're outside and... There's enough heat to proof the butter. Now this is 20 minutes after. She's going to add in the chili pepper now or the dried pepper. Guys, don't worry. This is not too much. However, you can either reduce or increase it. But this did not taste like pepper pepper. It just had a hint of spiciness in it which made the taste come out really really good so now she's mixing with her hand again if you cannot use your hand you can get a glove i also asked her why she didn't add the pepper at the initial stage when she was adding all of the dry ingredients and she said it's just a preference of hers to add the pepper now that you can also add it at the beginning so now we covered it back placed it in our corner and then we left it for 30 minutes in my opinion i think the pepper at the initial stage will be easier because mixing this proofed butter is a lot of work the next thing she's doing is to prepare where she's going to be frying and she's just adding some fire into the coal and now she has the pot on the coal and she's adding in some oil into the pot 
so now this is our batter it has really risen as you can see and we also added um onion into the oil i missed that clip so we added oil just for flavor you can choose to skip it but it gives the puff puff a really nice flavor so now we are going to be scooping the um puff puff into the pot so this is a technique she's using i did not want the puff puff to be too small like the small chops one because guys we're just going to sleep here <laughs> So there's a technique to scoop your um, batter to get the perfect round shape but with practice you're going to get it right just put some in your palm and then squeeze it out from the bottom or from the top something else that's really important is the temperature of your oil if the oil is too hot then your puff will not cook from the inside if it's not hot enough then it's just going to get soggy so once you put the butter and it rises up then you know that yes this is you know everything is fine and also along the line we had to add more coal that's because we're using coal we had we had to add more coal because the temperature was beginning to reduce so as you fry the temperature reduces um reduces so you might need to add if you're using gas just once you reduce the temperature after a while you increase it a bit just regulate it and i'm sure you'll be fine <music> Also, when you're frying your puff puff, you have to stir it very, very frequently. You don't want to add the puff puff and then just leave it because, of course, you want it to cook on every side. And also, you want the color to get even. So, you will have one side brown and then one side lighter. And here we have, guys, see the perfect color. See how brown and dry this puff puff is looking. Once you're done frying, just transfer it into a sieve. A sieve is very important because, you know, the sieve allows air going. You don't want to transfer it directly into a bowl or a container that does not allow air get into it. Your puff puff will most likely get soggy. Alright guys, so we have come to the end of this video. I hope you found this video really helpful. This is a great side hustle that anyone can start. You know, start with your friends or your family members or people who are having house parties and gradually you're going to grow into knowing how to make puff puff in very large quantity if you haven't subscribed at this point but hold on guys see how beautiful this puff puff is <laughs> if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button like this video in the comments if you have any questions let me know if you have any suggestions or tips that you have for people who intend to start this business please drop it in the comment section let us let's all help each other but look at how nice this puff puff is looking inside Ah, it was so good guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye